Hello everyone, today I am going to show you what new plants I got from a local nursery and what are the cost and how I am taking care of this plant initially. I got 7 new plants from the nursery. All these plants are very low maintenance plant. That means if you have humidity problem and your home don't get that much of bright sunlight then you can go for these plants. All these plants don't give you that much stress about their watering and about the lighting. So you can grow this plant very easily in your indoors. So the first plant I got is Havartia limifolia. This is a variety of succulent that means this plant don't need that much of watering because this is a kind of succulent. So succulent have a tendency to store water in its foliage. You can see the leaves are quite thick and very sturdy. This is a very hardy plant but over watering can kill your plant very easily. So in case of watering your succulent please keep in mind that you need to water your plant when the soil is very dry. You can see this plant is in terracotta pot. I don't change its soil initially because I want this plant to accumulate in my home and after 3 to 4 weeks I will change its soil for sure. The next plant is in variety of snake plant or sensevirias. This variety is known as sensevirya golden honey. This plant cost me around 50 rupees. All the sensevirias are very excellent indoor plants. This species total care and propagation video was already uploaded by me in the previous videos. So if you are interested and want to see that how I grow and take care of my sensevirias then go to the link above. All the varieties of sensevirias are the best indoor plants that you can keep in your indoors because they don't need that much of maintenance or they are very low maintenance plant they don't need that much of watering not that much of bright uh, direct sunlight and they seems to remove all kinds of toxins from your indoors so according to NASA these plant are the best air purifying plants now as you can see this is my another variety of sensevirias this variety is known as sensevirias futura black futura gold edge you can see the leaves are very dark green in color and the edges are yellow this plant cost me around 120 rupees i will change its soil after two to three weeks and initially i am not giving it water because i don't want this plant to get root rot because you can see the soil is quite wet so i want the soil to completely dry out then I will water my plant. Now you can see my another variety of Tritiscantia spetisia. This variety is known as Tritiscantia spetisia tricolor. You can see the leaves are light green with white variegation but the underneath is light purple. You can see how full the pot is in cost of one plant, I got three to four plants. I will separate the baby plants afterwards. I got also an, another variety of or the common variety of Tridiscantia spetisia. That plant is already blooming. I already got a video on how to care Tridiscantia spetisia. So if you want to see, then check out the videos related to its care. And here is my another variety of spider plant. I don't know the exact name of this plant but I doubt that this is a white lightning spider plant. So if you are sure and you know what the variety is please comment down below in the comment section. You can see the leaves are very beautiful because the leaves are in variegation of white and green. The leaves are quite thick and quite long. So, very beautiful plant and very striking foliage. 
and I think that this plant is also very easy to care plant. This plant cost me around 120 rupees. Now here you can see my philodendron micans. All these are cuttings. I propagate and try to grow this plant roots in water for one month and after the roots are grown I just propagate or report this plant in soil. I really love the shape of the leaves are very striking and very beautiful and the underneath is red in color. Now you can see my another variety of philodendron. This variety is known as philodendron salem. This plant cost me 120 rupees. You can see the leaves are very big and dark green in color. The initially or the new leaves look kind of philodendron zanadu but this is a variety of philodendron very easy to care. I missed this plant at least 2-3 to three days like my another or other philodendrons. I keep this plant in north window where this plant get 3-4 to four hours of direct sunlight. Here you can see my another variety of philodendron. This variety is known as philodendron lemon lime. I previously uploaded a video regarding its care. This is also very easy to care and easy to propagate plant. You can propagate this plant in water. I got the normal variety of Syngonium and I growing this Syngonium totally in water. Now you can see my palm trees and I really want you to show the beautiful new leaves which is popping out. This is an very easy to care and very easy to maintain plant. I got three to four varieties of palm trees. So if you want to see that how I'm taking care of my plants, then see the palm guide videos. I think that will be very helpful for you to grow your palm trees. Thank you for watching my video. See you in my another houseplant video. Bye.